Hey guys, welcome back to part four. In this part, we're gonna learn how to add text in between slides and also on top of slides. So, um, the first thing that we're gonna do at this point, um, you should be logged into your WeVideo account and at your movie. Um, if you'll remember from the last video, we just added our title slide in and we also learned how to clip videos and make them longer and shorter. So now we're going to work on the text. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of things about your um, science reactions that you need to explain in your video. So to do that, we actually have to go to a different view. You'll see right now that we are in what's called storyboard view. To edit our text, you're going to need to go and click on this toggle up here, this gear, and we're going to want to choose the timeline view. Once you choose that, save the changes. You'll see that our um, storyboard looks a little bit different because we're in this kind of more advanced view. And this is what we kind of need to do to do some of the things we want to do with text. So first I'll show you how to insert a slide that has text on it into your, um, into your project. And then I will show you how to add text on top of a photo or a video that is already there. So what we're going to do is go to the text button. And instead of doing the title slide like we did last time, we're going to choose text. Now, to add just a slide into your project, you can choose the one you like and drag it down where you want it to go. See how it kind of pushes the other ones aside? So to add the text on there, go ahead and click the teeny little pencil button that says Edit Selected Clip next to the trash can. That will take us to our editing view. Here you can change the text. And then you can also change how the text looks. You can again make it bold, italics, or underline. Um, you can change the color here. You can change the background color here. And you can also change the justification. If you click over in your box, you can also move where the text appears. Like if I want it to be more in the middle, you can also curve it if you want a little bit. Um, and you can make the text box bigger if you want. If you want to change the side of the text, you just have to scroll down a little here and slide this button up to make the text bigger or smaller. So once you have it how you like it, you can also change the animation. So if you want it to start and end differently, you can do that. Um, or you can just leave it the way it is, however you want to do it. Um, you can also fade in and out. Once you have it the way you like it, click Done Editing. Now I'm going to show you how that looks in my video. I'm going to pull my cursor back a little bit so it starts a little early, and I'll push play. <laughs> And again, just like I showed you before, if you think it's on the screen for too long, you can always shorten the clip by dragging it down. So I'm guessing that some of you may have pictures and you want the text to appear on top of the pictures, just like in the YouTube video that you used as an example. To do that, it's a little bit different, and that's why we had to switch to this different view. To do that, we have to actually put it on top of our, thing, of our current stream instead of in between. So I'm going to choose one. I'll choose this subtitles and I'm going to drag it down to this top bar. So now you just have to pick which picture or video you want it to play on top of. So I'm going to choose to have it play on top of my video of Clarence here. And again, we're going to edit it just like we did the other one where you can say edit selected clip. And then you can edit the text. And I'm going to say learning how to sit, because that's what he was doing in this video. And again, you can adjust where it is and what it looks like. Um, you may need to see, depending upon what slide you're looking at, you may have to change the background so that you can still see the picture. So if you need to change the background and you don't want it to have any background color, you can choose um, you can choose to do this one with a line through it that makes it transparent. 
So when you like the way it looks, I'm actually going to put mine back because I think it looked better the way it was before. You can choose Done Editing. So now again, I'm going to back it up a little bit and push play to see if I like it. Clarence, sit. Clarence, sit. Sit. Sit, Clarence. You can tell he wasn't very good at sitting yet. <laughs> so that's how you can add text on top. Um, I'm going to go ahead back to the editing view to show you because um, some of you may have quite a bit of text to add. So if you do, just remember that you can resize the box so you can fit more text in. And then you can also change the size of the text so you can make it as small or as big as you want to. So those are all things that you can play with in your movie until you like the way that it looks. So when you're done editing it and you like the way it looks again, do done editing. Note that over here it will tell you the last time your project was saved. So right now it says last saved 30 seconds ago. If you're nervous and you want to save it again, you can always go up to here and click save. Once you have all of your text in, go ahead and save your file. Um, your next part of the video we're going to work with altering the sound. So um, take a few minutes now and just play with your text, get your video clips rearranged, and get the text in where you want it for your final project.